stock. Because Ooh, that's Nightmare would, if if Nightmare loses game one, he might want to go to FD. If he wants to go to FD, not, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ryan's like not a fan of that at all. So not a fan of getting a chain grab. No, I don't really know if anybody's a fan of getting chain grab. It's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Though I don't know uh, how good the uh, like Dr. Mario versus Marth would even be. Um, I mean, I think he prefers it. Because I know he goes Dr. Mario against characters like Pikachu, like when he did that against Axe and beat him, but... He also has a... He has a Sheik. He has That's a... That's true. Uh, but Sheik FD is not that good, so... He has a Falco, too. Oh, Falco. Not that that's any better on it. Yeah, FD. exactly. <laughs> so Ryan's definitely the favorite, um, but Nightmare is no... Uh, nothing to scoff at. Oh yeah. Ryan being I think oh. almost top thirty in the world and uh yeah, I think Nightmare just being barely out of the top one hundred. I think Ryan is thirty two. Oh. No tippers and it's not gonna kill. Ryan makes it really tricky for uh Nightmare to get any edge guard. Jab jabbing him right now. Yeah. He's trying to kill him off the top, but no tipper, so it's not going to do anything. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty risky up B, to be honest. Yeah. He's going to want. Oh, oh, really close to there. He always wants the style. Always, always, always. I mean, he's a stylish guy. He was like, he's definitely a stylish guy. Look at that sweater. I want that sweater. There's like a fox on it with some, oh, yeah. some writing. I can't tell what language it is. I don't so know, I can't yeah. tell you. But yeah, mix them up here on the stage and then up there. Uh, up here. Oh. Smash. Ooh. How's uh, how's PM bracket going? Uh, pretty good, you know. Not all that many uh, upsets as of now that I can see. No. Though I guess one might be going on right now, so. So if you guys don't know, um, <laughs> Frozen Phoenix is the like. Oh! Ooh, he's popping in. Damn. It's like the biggest PM. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's yeah. the biggest PM event and, in Canada. Uh, in Canada. So oh, there a, you go. There's quite a few uh, out-of-region people here for PM. Yeah, a lot of Michigan players are coming out for this. Oh. One stock down. Let's see what he can do to bring it back. He's going to want to try to be barely outside of his range. Oh, this might be an opportunity. No. Did you catch any of the sets before this? Uh, I got a couple of them. I saw uh, the uh, Nightmare Falco. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. With the West Egg. Right? Yeah. It was actually significantly better than I thought it might be. Yeah, I didn't even know that he had a Falco. Yeah. I've seen him play Fox and uh, Marth, but never Falco. I've seen his DK. Oh, true DK. Yeah, he's yeah. got a DK. Though, uh, I gotta give it to uh, Coffee Black's DK to be, you know, better the, than The him. best... Uh, Best Ontario DK player. Probably best, you know, Canada. Who knows? Yeah, best DK in Canada. So, game one didn't go all that much in favor. I'm surprised that he uh, didn't go to FD, though, yeah. I so don't know if he particularly likes it. Yeah, I, don't, I guess I don't see him uh, as a chain-grabbing kind of person. And again, more, it, against know. a player of the caliber of, like, of Ryan Ford. Yeah. No, one, no, no, no. It's 1-0. No. One, one, oh. one for him. Yeah, I, so I looked away, and, and now he's uh, down, two down two stocks. Jeez. So maybe after this, he might decide to go to FD, or I don't think there's going to be a character switch. But no, yeah. I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of down to see his Falco though. It'd be interesting, though. I don't know what stage you would really want to go to as Falco against Falco. Just anything. Go back to Yoshi's. Oh, oh. hello. Kind of called him out there. Well, you know, he's definitely not out of this by any means. Oh, oh is he going to take advantage yeah, of this? he will. There we go. Oh, yeah. Tied so, back okay. up. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty big flub by Ryan. Yeah, it's you don't really see Ryan flub all that much. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I played him yesterday. Very solid player. Oh, wait. Uh, I yeah. couldn't get anything. Ooh, he tries to go for the stank leg, but no. And so, just got straight to ledge. Standard edge guard. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's jump cancel up smash. Oh, unfortunate. He's actually missing like some pretty important. Oh, tech. that was really sick. And like he's he's like really giving it to Nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ryan kind of throwing this game away, but you know, Nightmare's taking tef definitely taking advantage as much as he can. So. I love the tilts that Ryan uses. You don't see other Fox use them like that. Apart from maybe two edge guard uh, Marth, but yeah, he really uses them like during everything. Really, they use them in neutral and stuff. Just to, just to poke at your shield. Oh no. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that might be unfortunate a thing. for. Jump. Oh, he's allowed to jump. Up he oh goes right to ledge. He's gonna get off this. Ooh. Oh. Is this gonna be? Oh no! Oh, he actually could have gotten up there off that. Oh, no. oh. just steals ledge. Slippery for little fox. Slippery. So, where do you think he's gonna go for uh, last game or sorry, game know. three? I mean, he might go back. Um, it wasn't looking too in his favor, but yeah, FD is like is really the. Uh, yeah, is FD? It's really the pick. But again, Ryan's neutral is so good, and Fox's punish game on this stage is nothing like. It, like oh yeah. it's 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 amazing. So I mean, there are people that think you know Fox definitely wins on the stage. Other people think you know Marth will win on the stage because of chain grabs. So you know, I don't know how good Nightmare is with the chain grabs though. That's true. And he's not particularly known for that. Like he's more of a like a flashy, you know, flashy to death kind of combo person, you yeah. kind of kind of Marth. Oh, he's getting a lot off of this. Oh, thing. hello. Nah. Oh! <laughs> Thought he maybe extended it a bit too far, but no, he caught himself after that with the side B. It's honestly just enough to get him feeling himself. Yeah. Where. I say that as he's losing neutral, but where he might start to get something. Like, this is a bit. That was a really big opportunity, but he kind of biffed the edge uh, the uh, chain grab yeah the main thing is you know if you feel like you're doing as good as you can then you know some like people will just be happy at the end of the day you know so he's keeping it really close right now I saw him do the uh, the s fat edge guard earlier where oh oh flop oh okay Flubs from both players from both players but you know now not mayors ahead you so. know what it's all about who can flub better <laughs> You flub better than I can flub? We'll find out, right? Because you'll get the W. It's really also like, can you take advantage of the other person's flubs? Yeah. And well, we saw that last game with with uh, Nightmare taking advantage of Ryan's flubs. Mm -hmm. He flubbed two things and lost two stocks for it. It's definitely costly at this, you know, high level play too. What an incredible spot dodge. <laughs> Oh, gets the reverse back there. Oh, but, you know. So it's looking like it might be a 3-0. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't want to count uh, don't want to count him out just yet. Oh, oh that's it, I think. Yeah, up air. Probably going to die for this. Okay, so again, Ryan. Ooh, tries to overextend it a bit too much to the uh, left there. Just waiting. Good patience. Yeah, he really is not going for any... Uh, chain grabs oh. at this point, but this is a really, really long combo. Just managed to finish it, though. He definitely had some opportunities to throw at something else, like oh, forward uh, smash or... That's it, yeah. yeah. 3-0 for Ryan Ford. Jeez. They're really loud over there. So we're getting pretty far into the bracket, actually. Um, yeah, they're going to do, uh, I guess, losers now. I don't think they're going to do winner's final straight away. No, no, no. And who won between uh, Mookie and Trillium? I missed that part. Moki. Moki, yeah. 3-2 or 3-1? It was 3-2. Yeah. They had a really close set, but I'm pretty sure Moki won. Yeah, I saw that first game, which was really, really close going. There was two favors. two really close games, and then um, and then two not-so-close games oh, really? yeah. in Trillium's favor, and then the third game... Uh, Moki clutched it out. Mm. Oh, we get the homeboy Raikou. Raikou. Yeah, I had him in my uh, yeah, I had him in my pools earlier.